in the 3D bioprinting rooms, we like to keep everything sterile. When you're using cells, you don't want to contaminate anything. So gloves and then your lab coat. And so it's basically you're just printing body parts? Is that what's going on? Right. You want to do the honors? Sure. So I'm about to 3D print a human ear. The Wake Forest Institute for Regenerative Medicine is developing methods to manufacture human tissue, using specialized 3D printers to fabricate a range of functioning, viable body parts. So here we have 3D printing skin. Uh -huh. um, so the aim of this is basically to uh, make printers where you could print sheets and sheets of it and then basically be able to transplant it on a patient who needs it. Wow. We have a couple of demos set up here. The first one here is a artificial heart valve, and it's forcing fluid back and forth, and that is an artificial blood vessel. It's actually meant to be a carotid artery, like in the neck. Mm -hmm. And so then the idea is you can take out the part that isn't working and then put this in. How different is this from like 3D so printing a trinket? Like the, the exact same concept. You take um, a 3D CAD file, and then you convert that into your printing code and then you can print it. The only difference here is that we've got all the biomaterials and your cellular components too. And where do, where do the cells come from? Depending on the patient, you can take a postage sized stamp of cells and then turn it into all the different cell types of the body. How do you implant it? You just sew it on? Exactly. That's it. Suture it on and <laughs> cover it up and you're good to go. Amazing. One of the major challenges in medicine, of course, is not having a sufficient number of tissues and organs that you can use to re replace in patients. And so the concept here is why not just create them? How long do you think it is until you can print a whole body? Well, I remember watching the very first uh, Westworld movie. You know, it came out in the movie theaters many years ago. Sure. Uh, is that possible in the future? You never know. Science has few boundaries.